Today we'll talk about the integumentary system. Now the integumentary system is made up of the skin plus accessory structures. Accessory structures are things like hair and nails, um, glands, all these things that are found within the skin. Um, the skin is the largest organ in the body and I've had people say, what? Skin's an organ? But it is. If we look at the definition of an organ, an organ is two or more tissues that work together. Um, and so it is, um, by definition, an organ. Uh, many different functions of the skin. I think, you know, we, we think of, um, or integumentary system, and we think of protection as, as the most obvious function. But um, there's lots of functions for the skin. Uh, thermal regulation. Um, synthesis and storage of fat reserves, um, immune system, uh, sensory reception, uh, making uh, vitamin D, okay, all these are, are some functions of the skin. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the structure of the integumentary system, or the structure of the skin. Uh, the skin can be divided up into layers, and there are really two main layers, um, and then another one that's often grouped together when we talk about layers of the skin. We have the upper or the outermost epidermis. Epi means on top of. So epidermis is this outer layer. The dermis is the underlying layer. And the hypodermis, which is not actually part of the integument, but again is often um, grouped together here, the hypodermis is sometimes called the subcutaneous layer, is um, deep to the dermis. All right. And the hypodermis consists of fat. It's got um, um, adipose tissue, which is fat, as well as uh, areolar connective tissue. All right, so we have the epidermis, the outer epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. The epidermis is made up of five layers, and I'm going to draw a picture of just the epidermis in it just in a second. But um, this is real important to not get confused between, you know, the, the skin layers and then the epidermis. So the epidermis is made up of five layers in this outer section. The dermis is made up of these two layers. Okay, um, and then and then of course the hypodermis deep to that. So now. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the epidermis, again only this outer region, and the five layers that comprise the epidermis. Um, the, maybe I'll just mention here that the two layers of the dermis are the, um, there's the, a, a layer called the papillary layer here, and then this deeper layer is the reticular layer, and um, you can read more about that because we're not going to cover that in this video. So again, let's take a look at the epidermis, and I'm going to quickly draw that. Alright, um, so the five layers are called strata. Strata means layer. And so there are five strata. There's one layer. Alright, so the outer layer is the stratum corneum. The 
the, let's see. The next layer the stratum lucidum. The next layer stratum granulosum. The fourth layer stratum spinosum. And the deepest layer of the epidermis is stratum basal, the basal layer, right? And so remember, this is all epidermis. And deep here we have the dermis, okay? So we should never forget where we are actually looking in the skin. Um, a mnemonic that I've heard before is um, Brent's skin grows like corn. Brent's skin grows like corn. Uh, you can Google uh, skin mnemonics and it'll come up with all kinds of, of neat mnemonics to remember. Um, uh, a little bit about each of the layers. The stratum corneum is made up of stratified squamous epithelia. And um, and these, these cells are, don't have nuclei, they're essentially dead scales, uh, skin or dead cells um, that are, are mainly for protection. And you know, that's this outer layer here. The stratum lucidum is a clear layer. Lucidum means clear and um, it's only in thick skin. So this one So this layer is missing in thin skin, areas um, that have uh, very thin layers like, you know, the eyelids and, and, um, and uh, you know, other places in the body that, that, and you know, thick skin is found on the soles of the feet and palms of the hand and, and, um, and so that will have that extra lucidum layer. The stratum granulosum, named for, uh, it has a, like a grainy appearance in it, they're granules that that um, are found in that layer. And that's indicative of a process called keratinization that occurs. So cells are produced in these lower layers, the stratum basale, and those cells, as they're produced, make their way out. So as these upper layers, the stratum corneum, these, um, um, you know, the stratified squamous cells are sloughed off. As I scratch my skin, I'm, I'm sloughing them off, okay? They're regenerated and renewed um, from below. It takes maybe a month for a cell to be produced within the stratum basale and make its way up. Now in that process of moving up, that cell loses its nucleus. Okay, so these are, these are cells in here. And remember that there's, there's cells all within here. It's not just a layer. There's a whole bunch of cells within it, but I'm not going to go and draw all the cells in there. So these cells of the stratum basale, as they make their way up, okay, they begin to change and the process of keratinization occurs. So in the stratum granulosum, um, that's where it kind of begins, where the, the cells lose their nuclei and they, uh, the, they begin to produce a protein called keratin, um, which is a waxy substance that fills the cells up. So as they move up, they're filled with this keratin and, um, you know, are, are dead. Right. The stratum spinosum, called the spiny layer, is named because during uh, tissue preparation, the, these cells kind of um, shrink a little bit and take a, take a spiny look to it. So, you know, you look at it and go, well, I don't see spiny cells. It's because it's only when it's prepared uh, for viewing on a microscope, under a microscope. The deepest layer is the stratum basale. Now the stratum basale is uh, made up of cubo cuboidal cells and this is where mitosis occurs. This is where cell division occurs and, um, and, and you make the, the new cells. All right, there's a few things in here. Notice I drew some cells in here. 
These are melanocytes, which produce the pigment called melanin. And melanin is what gives our skin color. Right. So uh, we may all have the same amount of melanocytes, um, but they can produce different amounts of, um, um, of that pigment melanin. And what's the function of that, that melanin? The melanin um, helps to protect us from UV radiation because UV radiation can um, uh, damage DNA. And so the melanin will, will um, protect, protect the DNA and prevent mutations from occurring. Um, in addition to the cell, maybe there's some, let me point out a few more structures here. And, and so if you have melanoma, which is a cancer, skin cancer, melanoma is cancer of these melanocytes. Um, we have these, notice it's kind of wavy here at the lower layers. Um, and, and that creates these ridges and these the depressions create the, the uh, fingerprints on our fingers. So here, as the dermis reaches up into the epidermis, this region is called the dermal papilla. And this region, a part of the epidermis that extends down into the dermis, is called the epidermal ridge. Okay. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We have also uh, specialized cells called tactile cells. Important for touch, and these are part of the nervous system, sometimes called Merkel cells. And, uh, you know, they're scattered amongst the cells of the stratum basale and, uh, again, are sensitive to touch. Let's see, we also have, um, what else do we have? Um, dendritic cells. Um, dendritic cells, sometimes called uh, dendrocytes, they're macrophages, so they're part of the immune system that ingest bacteria and other foreign material that are, um, that are there. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Now, um, maybe I should mention, these cells are called keratinocytes, the cells that will you know, that form the cells of the skin that eventually will be filled with keratin. Um, so the keratinocytes, you know, are all these cells that are going to make their way up and, um, and eventually get filled with keratin. Alrighty, um, so you'll need to, you know, do your reading about the different strata. I'm just giving you the, the basic anatomy. And so read about the different layers and what occurs in all the layers as well as the dermis and, um, and then as far as, you know, you need to take a look at, at the accessory organs or the accessory structures, the hair and the nails and the glands, and, um, and take a look at, at their roles in, in the integumentary system. All right, thank you.